I was just going to get to that. Anyone actually know who I am? Then you know how we start this. Tunichiwa! I said Tunichiwa! When I say Konnichiwa, you say Konnichiwa now! Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa! One more time when I say Konnichiwa, you say Konnichiwa now! Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa! Daihatsu is super like a motherfucker. How y'all doing? <laughs> Thank you for being an amazingly attentive and good audience for everyone who is up here tonight. Clap for yourselves, please. Actually, I hope to, you know, because we do, like, our Love Magic stuff, and we do it every, like, second Friday, first Friday, second Friday. Oh, so it's not on a Monday. Cool. Go on. Yeah, cool. <laughs> you know, just go to OurLoveMagic.com, Facebook Dallas, yeah. Our Love Magic Facebook Dallas, yeah, whatever. Anyway. So, um, so I got to knock the dust off a couple of poems tonight, um, that, because I have a show that I'm performing in on the 15th. I haven't done poems in front of an audience in a little while, so thank you guys for being kind and patient. But on the 15th, I have to do poems in front of a nine-piece funk band, and I'm scared out of my wits, so I got to knock them. So I would love to bring you guys a funk band. <laughs> Inner City All-Stars, you know, so anyway. So if you know them, it's good stuff, so anyway. So, Russ added me to the show at the last minute with the caveat that I do this poem. So I dedicate this to Russ. I'm over here. Where is he? Thank you. To Russ. <laughs> to, to, to the Empress Kelly, who we know is Mama and I, and to all the circus freaks who have graced our presence at our Love Magic events throughout the couple of years that we've been doing it. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Here we go. Every day my wife comes home from work and asks me the same question. How was work today? And every day I give her the same response. Shmeh. Shmeh. S-H-M-E-H. This is the love poem I give to my wife every day. A monosyllabic response and nondescript and guttural. It doesn't even exist in the English lexicon. Shmeh. Now, if you're wondering where the love poem is in this statement, I'll explain it in a minute. You see, Shmeh, it's not a dismissal, nor is it an attempt to shield her from the truth. I'm not that cunning. She's not that gullible. But when you work where I do, emotional detachment isn't just choke color trained. It's rewarded. And I know that emotional detachment has no place in love poetry, but it makes sense in this one, damn it. And before you even come to me with that, my job's harder than your job, harden your sleeve, or... Pissing contest, stick in your hand. Let me just tell you that my job has completely depleted me of vitamin sympathy. But if you insist, this is why my professional acting training is going to come in handy because I'm going to act like I care. When I pair it back what you say just to show that I heard what you said, even though I don't care enough anymore to listen to you. And I know that listening skills like these have no place in love poetry either, but before you hang up while holding out for that love poem I promised, just answer me this. Will you sacrifice today? How much today? And when are you going to cash that check? Because like so many love poems before this one, I'll include a confession. My profession is bill collection. Yeah! And now as much as you don't want to talk to me, I want even less to have to talk to you. And I know that the unwillingness of two people to communicate with one another has even less place in the love poem than a bill collector does. I promise you, sweetheart, we're going to get there. Because like so many love poems before this one, I'm going to ask you to lie to me. Lie to me. Tell me you got the money your husband's sending a check and you're mailing it tomorrow because when you feel that indelible need to tell me the truth... I hate having to talk to you even more! And I know that hatred is now the second worst thing ever stuck into a love poem, but after having to hear so many of your fucking stories for so long, I find myself asking for deliverance daily. 
deliverance from every single mother with eight kids whose husbands left for cigarettes eight months ago and never came home. Deliverance from every teacher in a perpetual summer and winter of discontent. Deliverance from every construction worker for every reason, for every season of why they can't work. Deliverance from every modern day leper with every affliction and addiction under the sun yet is somehow still convinced Jesus will provide because the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. And yes, I know leprosy, blasphemy, and lack of compassion are now tied for thee three worst things ever stuck into a love poem so if you're wondering where my love poem went here it is every day my wife comes home from work and asks me the same question how was work today and every day I give her the same response because rather than taint any kiss I would ever give to the woman I love with the foul taste left in my mouth after describing what I deal with for a living I find myself swallowing a daily horse pill of harsh reality with a symbolic gesture of shmeh. Because her love, man, that is the sweetness that helps my economic medicine go down. <laughs>